Hokey dokey, more Andy poop for your ears and eyeballs. Hope you've gotten your tetanus shots. Because that makes sense. Anyway, guess what we have for dinner? We have some delicious ham, a side of corn, and an extra helping of murder. Uh, yeah, the game's called Murder for Dinner. Begin a new story. Ooh, it's a little painting. That's, that's sort of classy loading screen. I've been invited to Miss Havisham's for a dinner party. She is a strange old bat still living in the past. She loves and lives gossip, so being her friend is a challenge. I feel a bit nervous about this dinner party. She hinted at a big secret, and no one knows who it's about or what it is. I'm afraid it's about me. Journal. I should enter the house to attend the party. This music's pretty cool. Clouds are nifty. I mean, this is sort of, sort of generic, but I mean, good aesthetics at the very least. Uh, so, the who's who of Miss Havisham's friends will be here. Rinaldo, an aging bachelor, widowed French Duchess Anne Marie, Mr. and Mrs. Lincoln, a well respected banker and his wife, Major Andrews, retired British military, Mark Joseph, the famous hunter, Dr. and Mrs. Russell, noted doctor and wife team. Okay. Um. Go inside! Okie dokie, more loading. That's, I love loading. I do like this song though, it's very, very soothing, but like a hint of, of mystery. Ooh, <laughs> uh, Awesome, Jack painting. He seems to be enthusiastic about the painting across the hall. Ah, stop moving on your own. What's up, painting? A bit presumptuous to have a painting of one's own house. Yeah, what a dick. Doop to do. There's stuff. I should introduce myself to everyone. No probs. We had to. Oh! There is the peoples. Ooh. Well, everyone is gathered here already. They look a little nervous, too. They must have received the message about the mystery revealed tonight. No one looks very happy. I don't see Miss Havisham. Perhaps she is waiting to make a grand entrance. I should introduce myself. Hello, weird-looking plastic man. Uh, I can't stop moving for some reason. Why? Well, hello, Professor. How are you? Everyone is very curious to know what secret Miss Havisham will reveal tonight. Yep. Um. Hello. Professor, it's so nice to see you again. How is the new semester going for you? Oh, Doctor. Say hello to the Professor. Oh, bother. She always has to make sure that everyone knows her husband is the doctor. Yeah, what a cunt. My husband's a doctor! He saves lives and spares my own. Because he could have easily ended in my sleep if I don't have dinner ready for him. Yes, he agrees. How nice to meet you, Professor. I am Major Andrews. It's quite a pleasure to meet another friend of Miss Havisham's. I understand you are Professor of Literature at the College Hall. Man, I feel so connected with all these people. Professor, my man, I see you could not resist the demands of our lovely Miss H. Not many men can. No, Ronaldo, I sense you would have missed the event as quickly as I would have if we only could. Okay. Hello, Busty McGee, with the weird fucked up eyebrow and nose and 
face and everything. God, you're a nightmare. My dear professor, we meet again. So lovely to see you. I have heard you were not feeling well. I was afraid that you would not be here today. Duchess, you have no idea how I wish I weren't, but I had no way to back out after the plan was already in motion. Whatever, alien cowboy. Hello, Professor. We finally meet. I have heard so much about you from Miss Havisham. She is quite pleased to have an intellectual acquaintance of your caliber. Quite a notch on her social belt, if you will. I am an old family friend, and if you must know, a world famous big game hunter. I would have done a different voice if I had known that. The more Ben Australian, which I can't do very well either. Are you the prey? Whatever. Cool. Have. Oh, God damn, there's still more people to talk to. So nice to see you, Professor. Have you recovered from the cold the other day? I'm afraid I have a headache coming out. Perhaps this is another night of socializing. Perhaps. Ugh, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to weird monster Sigmund Freud. Good evening. How are you doing? I hear we are in for a mysterious treat. I don't know. Whatever tricks. Blah, 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 blah. This... Yeah, where the fuck is Miss Havisham? Ugh. God, like you move like you're on ice in this game. Like I'm moving forward and then I'll stop and like keep going and then get stuck on an object and then go upstairs, I guess. Do do do. Man, look at them graphics, yo. This is just like fucking mist back in the day. Uh, I don't want to look at anything. I just want to find Miss Havisham. Where the fuck is she? I know she's dead. Because, I mean, that's the point, right? Gonna find her and be like, Oh, heavens! What could have happened? Uh, you know, these 3D graphics sort of remind me of the seventh guest. If you guys ever played that. Um, so... A lot of video. Uh, uh, God, I'm sorry. I'm distracted by just this music, I guess. Cause I like want to stop playing. I want to stop playing, but this music is just like it's making me keep going. For some reason, I just I like. I have to know. I have to know where the fuck is Miss Havisham? Where the f no no. No. Well, I guess she just didn't show up, and we all sat there all night, and it was boring, and we all murdered each other out of boredom. The end. But uh, the song's pretty cool. So yeah.